My topic is supercritical boiler. Do you know in 13th plan government has decided to shift all the subcritical boiler to supercritical boiler with a high megawatt capacity like 600, 700, 800 megawatts. Reason behind it is having better emission control, pollution control, better efficiency with less consumption of fuel as well as water and less investment cost per megawatt. Now do you know what is supercriticality? The coal based power plant is works on the Rankine cycle. If you see the Rankine cycle, the less is the pressure on the water, the more amount of work and latent heat is required to convert water to the steam. So if you go to the higher side of the pressure and reach to a state where say pressure is approximately 221 bar and temperature 374 degree centigrade it will be somewhere on the top of the dome of the Rankine cycle where there will be no work and no latent heat is practically required to convert the water to the steam that point of time it is known as critical point and uh, this critical point the density of water and steam become equals so whatever the water is there, 100% water converts to the steam instantly. That's why it is known as one, uh, that's why it is also giving the uh, circulation as a one is to one. And it is also known as once through boiler. Why it is once through boiler? Because the uh, water with high temperature and pressure uh, from the economizer zone reaches to the inlet of the uh, water wall segment and directly uh, goes to the superated segment and reaches to the HP turbine, but it doesn't recirculate through drum and downcomer as it happens to the case of the subcritical boiler. <coughs> also, you, uh, if you come to the uh, uh, technology uh, water wall, you will see uh, the bottom segment of water wall is a spiral segment and top segment is vertical and they are both connected to the uh, transition segment. So whatever the critical, it, critical state is uh, occurred, it is uh, occurred in the transition point itself and it is achieved after generally after achieving the load of 30 to 40 uh, percent. <coughs> in the water wall segment also if you go to the water wall segment it is having a nuclear boiling because here, here the surface temperature is higher and due to nuclear boiling surface temperature is higher almost uh, 20 to 30 degree centigrade than the saturation temperature so material needs to extend is high and uh, uh, high temperature and pressure uh, due to once through technology thick wall uh, storage drum is not required so short startup can be achieved High mass flow in water wall tubes gives uniform heat transfer between the surface of the tubes and the fluid as well. There are extra sofas connected to the water wall to feed the additional amount of air to reduce the uh, NOx products also. Actually, what are the basic difference in the region? Let us see. So, you see this. Uh, uh, <coughs> Economizer outlet segment is connected directly to the inlet header of the water wall and um, that is in case of subcritical it is passing to the drum and beside this the sofa is available in case of subcritical LTSH zone is there in the back pass but here it is LTRH and spiral water wall as you see then instead of drum they engage the separator here up to the capacity of 30 to 40 percent of load they need auxiliary pilot during starting segment then there is a steam cool uh, uh, extended pass in, in place of water cool extended pass water cool spacer is also available for stability in the uh, second pass segment but there is little bit drawbacks like uh, material constants are there, high grade materials are there uh, required for high temperature and pressure just like T92, P91, SA213, Super 304H, SA304C, T12, T20, A3, 
also alloy steel fall structures some limitation are there just a uh, <coughs> just like materials as deposition and complex structure as well then peat pump also needs uh, uh, excess power to drive to reach to the critical point now let us see how this boiler works in a 